As uh, Roseanne Rosanna-Dana used to say on uh, Saturday Night Live, it's always something. Uh, we were in the middle of a quote-unquote banking crisis, and now we've got another oil shock uh, this morning. Everybody waking up to headlines and say, maybe we go to $100. So as a Fed official, when you see that, how are you reacting? Well, on the financial stress, I think, uh, you know, this is a post-Dodd-Frank world, and I, I do think that the reaction to the banking problems uh, was swift and was appropriate, and uh, both here in the U.S. and uh, overseas. And uh, so I think, you know, the idea that there are macro prudential tools that you can use in that kind of situation to calm things down, that seems to have worked so far. You never know uh, if there's further things uh, happening, but if, if there are, we can react with macro prudential tools again. Uh, and then on the policy, the monetary policy side, we can still proceed to uh, fight inflation and, and get inflation down during 2023 and 2024 uh, back to target. So I think, uh, you know, this idea that you can uh, walk and chew gum at the same time, you've got the macro prudential tools for uh, financial stress and you've got monetary policy to fight inflation and we can do both uh, as long as the financial stress doesn't uh, morph into something uh, much larger. And so far, so good. Uh, but knock on wood, uh, you're never sure what's going to be around the corner. But does $100 oil or the idea at least of this oil shock complicate your job? Yeah, well, of course, oil's always, uh, uh, the oil price is, is always important. Uh, I would have expected that somewhat higher oil prices anyway with China coming back. Uh, sooner than expected during the first half here of 2023 and with Europe skirting recession. Uh, so both of those and strong data in the U.S., all of those are, are pretty uh, bullish factors, I would say, for the oil market. Um, this was a surprise, the OPEC decision, but whether it will have a lasting impact, I think, is an open question. Now, you had already moved up your estimate of where the Fed funds rate needed to be to bring down inflation. You were talking an effective rate of around 5 5.6%. Does this change that calculation at all? And can you explain why you think we need to go that high to uh, hit the terminal rate? Uh, I think well, we will need. I think we'll need to get over 5%. <clears throat> the committee says that uh, the median person on the committee says uh, a little over 5%. I'm a little higher than that. Um, I think inflation will be stickier. And, uh, you know, I'd look mostly at the core measures of inflation, like PCE core inflation, or the Dallas Fed trim mean, which really hasn't come down very much at all, is still in the 4% range, so, uh, you know, 4.6 or something like that. So, um, so we're still talking about a lot of inflation, more than double our inflation target on that basis. And uh, oil prices fluctuate around. It's hard to it's hard to track exactly. Some of that might feed into inflation and make our job a little bit more difficult.